Welcome to Trans for the number formationchurch.com. You see the logo up there in the corner. Um, we are on the 10 benefits of walking in the favor of God. It's basically from Jerry Savelle, and he's got 10 benefits of the favor of God is basically what he calls it. Um, and we are on um, day four, which means that we are now on, we did Monday, we did one and two, Tuesday, we did um, three and four. Yesterday, we did five and six, so we're doing seven and eight of 10 Benefits of the Favor of God. I'm Pastor Becky. This is Transformation Church, healing spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially. And we're in Central Florida. If you're ever in Central Florida, come see my my um, sweet co-pastor husband, um, Pastor Eddie and myself, and um, walking in the favor of God. So um, I didn't realize it was going to be so difficult to read. Um, the lighting in here is not as good today. It was too bright last time. So I'm going to see if I can even read it. Number well, I, I'm, I can in Jesus' name. So number seven, favor produces prominence and preferential treatment. Esther 2.17. Favor and preferential treatment. <laughs> All right. How can, oh, there we go with some more light. And it says in um, Esther 2.17, and the king loved Esther more than all the other women, and she found grace and favor in his sight more than all the other virgins. So he placed the royal crown upon her head and made her queen um, in place of Vashti. So it will bring you to a place of prominence. And again, I didn't realize when I sat here the lighting was going to be so poor. Um, but favor produces prominence and preferred treatment. So when you walk in the favor of God, you can... Um, look for preferred treatment and, fa uh, and favor and, and get preferential treatment, you will st basically, you'll stick out like no one else. Hey, Pastor David, good to see you from Uganda. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to keep moving because we have prayer here tonight. We've been having prayer Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday on top of our Sunday schedule. So um, um, I, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. But I want you to choose to walk in the favor of God. I was going to read all of them back up, but you'll just have to go back and watch the rest of them because, like I said, the lighting's less than um, on, uh, on reading my page. Now, if I did it like that, I could see it. Um, anyway, that is really weird. Okay, number um, eight, favor produces petitions granted even by ungodly civil authorities. If you're dealing with a, um, a legal case, um, the civil authorities aren't being fair to you. Favor will bring you there. And I'm going to go ahead and it's Esther 5, 8. And it said, Esther replied, this is my petition and my request. If I have found favor, verse 8, if I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, may the king and Haman come tomorrow to the banquet. I will prepare it for them. Then I will answer the king's question. And for anyone that know the book of Esther, um, the, the king said yes, and, and Haman was like, um, ah, it's great to have you here live. Um, but the king granted Esther's request, and Haman was all puffed up. Wow, the queen invited me, because he didn't know she was a Jew. And he was, and Haman had prepared gallows um, to hang um, Queen Esther's uncle Mordecai on, and he was he had an edict out to, to destroy all of the Jewish people, which is who she was, but he didn't know that. And so God just gave her favor. And, and again, it's number um, eight says favor produces petitions granted even by ungodly civil authorities. So maybe you're, you're facing an ungodly civil authority. Maybe you're facing a situation where um, it, it would take the favor of God to get your request accomplished. And because of the favor of God, because she obeyed God, um, she saved a whole nation, um, and and the the heart of the king was turned toward her. Um, all right, so that's the favor of God. There's been something else on my heart today, so I just want to share it real quickly. Um, I've had several prayer requests come in to me. People reach out to me today. It's it's been um, just we have a lot to get accomplished every day. We thank God we have breath in our lungs and we have a lot to get accomplished. So um, we want to make the most of the time. Um, but as I was praying for one lady in her situation with her son-in-law, um, the Holy I, I, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, you need to tell her that she needs to speak to the mountain, that they need to speak to the mountain. And in this case, her son-in-law really needs work. And he's got a family, children. 
and um in and they're you know and she thought we had prayed i guess maybe two weeks ago i hadn't heard her mention anything but god was like you need to speak to that mountain and i know this seems really strange but um i'm doing god told me to do the favor thing but sometimes we need to speak to our mountain not speak about our mountain so what does that look like all right you need work you need an income and you've got certain skill set and you've applied for employment in this particular gentleman's um what he's going through and you prayed and you know it said bring you know pray ask seek ask knock and um it will be given so we we pray all right well but after you pray then you speak to the mountain and you say mountain of lack in the name of jesus i command you to leave in jesus name get out of my way and you speak to lack and, and say i walk in abundance i walk in uh, my God will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory through, by Christ Jesus. Um, yes, the favor will protect us from the snares of the evil one, and that's true. And favor, in the case of needing a, a job with this young man, that or, or, I don't know how old he is, her son-in-law, um, favor can get you a, a job, um, employment, over somebody who maybe has more um, skill sets than you have that might be more qualified but for some reason, the employer is going to look at you and go, oh, you know what? I, I just, my gut tells me I need to hire you. And, um, and if, so that works, whether it's health, maybe you're, you're dealing with a health pro, um, health problem, sickness, disease, um, you pray and ask, you know, pray and do whatever you have people pray, but at, at the more, it's more effective to speak to your mountain instead of speaking about your mountain. I hope people are following me. And so. You can speak to the mountain of disfavor and call and say, you know, God surrounds me with favor as a shield. Now, I'm saying these 10 things that I cannot see well enough to read them to you right now, um, but I'm saying them every day. And, and so, for instance, um, the, the number uh, seven, favor produces prominence and preferential treatment. So I say it like this. In the name of Jesus, favor is producing prominence and preferential treatment in my life. And number eight, favor um, produces petitions granted even by ungodly civil authorities. Well, in the name of Jesus, favor is producing petitions granted even by ungodly civil authorities in my life. So we need to speak out and faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And we say to that mountain, be cast into the sea. If we believe that we receive it, we are going to have it. We need to speak to our mountain. So um, I'm going to encourage you to, if you want a copy of these 10 things um i'll try to get it to you and i'm having trouble with my um <clears throat> excuse me with my pastor becky email so i've got to get our our tech to take a look at it and find out what i'm going to need to do so if you would like a copy better facebook message me instead um for a copy and um i i will get one to you probably take about 24 hours like i said we have a thing going on tonight and i have a full day tomorrow so um Anyway, I want you to walk in the favor of God. I want you to know that that's God's will for your life, that God intends for us to walk in the favor of God. And you're never going to obtain any of what God has for us when we don't know. It is so important for us to meditate on the word of God. So when you're speaking something for 30 days over and over, going over scriptures like the favor of God over your life, you're, that's a type of meditation. You're hearing it over and over and over. I will send those notes to you. Pastor David, for sure. Um, so we just, I want, and, and say these things over, and I, I want to hear your report too, because I believe you're going to have some testimonies based on this. I know I've already seen some things. So um, God's not, a, he said he's no respecter of persons. So if he does it for me, he'll do it for you. If he did it for someone else. So, you know, Jerry Savelle is the one that came up with this particular list of 10. And um, I guess he just got a doctorate now, but He's a he's a an evangelist, I guess. But anyway, it, they're really great. I will send you a copy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask, because I don't know when anyone's watching this, whether you're watching it now or later. It's still God's word for you today. And um, if you're not 100% sure, if you were to die today, that you would go to heaven, um, just know that God loves you. He has a great plan for your life. He has favor for you. He, he every. He has abundance of blessings for you. 
um, like we were going over the um, Psalms 115 where it talks about um, God is blessing me. Blessings upon blessings are being heaped upon me and my children um, from the maker of heaven and earth, even the God that made me. So I would say, I keep, in fact, I, I've got it on my refrigerator and I say it still. I'm saying it every day. Why? Because I'm speaking, when you're doing that, that's a type of speaking to the mountain and saying, um, I'm blessed. Blessing, blessed are being heaped on me and heaped on me. Because the enemy is going to say, you know, look at them. They're, why, they're more blessed than you are. And, you know, they don't really, you know, they don't serve the Lord. And, you know, what are you, a chump or whatever? No, um, we just need to find out what are, is ours. Meditate on the word of God. Speak the word of God. It's really important to speak it out there in Jesus' name. So if you're not 100% sure, if you were to die today, you'd go to heaven. Repeat this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe Jesus died on the cross for me. I believe that Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. I admit I'm a sinner. I ask you to forgive me. Take my life and do something wonderful with it. I know I'll never be the same again. Fill me with your sweet Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Yay! So if you prayed that prayer when you die, you're going to heaven. Share this with other people. Heart, like, whatever. Just and keep on sending it forward. Um, if you need any like and need anything like information about, okay, what do I do now? I prayed that prayer with you. Contact me again. Message me through Facebook or um, hopefully by the time, you know, my email will be fixed. That is really weird. That's, in the name of Jesus, my email will be fixed. And um, the only reason I know is some some people that come to our church had sent me some things. And, it, and they said, did you get it? And I'm like, no. And I looked. I just went through five... <laughs> I, I don't know, three hours yesterday trying to work it, work it all out. I was going to say five, but it was about three hours. Um, so I'm going to get a tech person to help me figure out what in the world's going on because I didn't get it. But anyway, um, I will, Pastor David, I'll send you these notes. And I pray blessing and favor upon you and upon your ministry, upon your family, upon everything that you put your hand to, that you're prospering when you walk out the door, you're prospering when you walk in the door, that um, God's blessings are chasing you. Blessings upon blessings are being heaped upon you and your children um, from the maker of heaven and earth, the very God that made you and me. Thank you, Jesus. And we say thank you for blessing me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I also speak healing and wholeness from the crown of everyone's head to the soles of their feet, tips of their toes to their fingertips. In Jesus' precious name, amen. All right, I will talk to you tomorrow. So I apologize for it being as short as it was because... um. We have people coming for prayer, and, and we're seeing answers to prayer. It's been wonderful. And we're here in America, we're praying for a lot of our, our um, elections that are coming up and um, some situations politically, so we're doing a lot of that. Um, and we're seeing great, great, um, joyful answers in Jesus' name. All right, love you. We'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.